the very first thing we need to do in our animal base is to load the data from the JSON and display it on the page. And we would like to display it so that we have separated the name here, the type, the description, and the age of each animal so that in later editions we can sort and filter by name, type, description, or age. The problem is that in the JSON file we just have two properties, full name and age. And age contains the age, full name contains the name, the description, and the type of the animal in one string. And the way we usually uh, do when we load JSON is that we load all the JSON uh, stored here in a global variable and then when we display the list we for each over that global variable and for each animal we simply take the properties directly as they were in the JSON and put them into the um, put them into a clone and everything so we get and output something like this where we have the full name here and the age there and no way of distinguishing between the different elements of um, name description and type so we need our code to not go directly and display the json data directly we wanted to filter it or clean it or whatever you prefer to call it so rather than having here we have the load json first the load json and then that follow immediately after that we have the display list but now we want something in between we want something prepare data that somehow extracts these uh, three different properties from the full name and then we are going to display that new data or cleaned or extracted whatever we want to call it so we display um, a list display the list if i just go back to the editor just a second there it was so when we load the json then we call prepare objects with our json data and in prepare objects then we have to do some sort of magic and then display the list where it displays the list of all animals so what does this function need to do well to make sure that i know exactly what it is uh, supposed to do I'm going to manually create the data as it should be this is something that I hardly ever do and I certainly wouldn't recommend for you to do it when solving this kind of assignment but it might be nice to see so what I do here is I'm simply going to take the JSON data all of it and then I'm putting here into all animals this is the array as I want it to be but rather than full name it should be name and that goes for all of them so I'll just add uh, multiple cursors here to make my life a bit easier and then get rid of the name or the full and then say okay that's the name that's the first part then the second part is the we're going that's not going to be needed then we have a description actually we don't need the quote here because we're in JavaScript and not in uh, JSON so description and we need quotes around that because that's a string and then we have the type for all of them and that would be a cat or a dog or a dragon and then we have the age let's just for fun remove all the quotes so this is kind of what we would like our array to end up looking like so uh, let's try and save this and see if it works yes it does if we take a look here at 
all animals. We have an array of all the animals, and if we want it a bit nicely, then that's console table. Like this. This is the result we want, but we certainly don't want it the way we just did, where I manually cut uh, and extracted everything from the full name. But this actually gave me a bit of a hint of uh, how it should be. So if I just try this on paper, then I think I'll get an idea. So if we have the full name here, we have Mando. The amazing cat. And we know that the first part here is the name. This is the description. And this is the type. And this is the the. And we don't need to use that for anything. So how do we get them? Well, if we take a look and how I actually did it when I did it manually, then I'll see that the name starts from the beginning. And when there's a space, that's where the name ends. So the name goes from the beginning to the first space. Then we have the the, we ignore that. Then we have a space more, we also ignore that. But then the description starts and the description goes to the next space. The description is seems to be just one word, but uh, let's we, we, we can check that. So this part here from the second space until the third one or the last one maybe is the description. And then the type goes from after the last space to the end. So if I take a look here at what I need, this would be the first space and the second space. And let's just say maybe there are spaces in the description. So this would be the last space. And that tells me that name goes from zero to first space. Two. This is a two, not a minus. And description goes from second space. to last space and the type goes from last space to the end. This is something that I can easily um, extract from the full name string with substrings. So that is what I'm going to do. So let me get back to the code. I will just keep this part here. And then let me see when I prepare objects for each of them. Let us clean some data here. So we have our full name. Um, and I'm just going to create a temporary variable for that. That's the JSON object dot full name. This it's really not necessary, it's just so to avoid me having to write full name all the time. And then I will say I need the first space. And that's the full name index of space. This would be the first one. The second space. would be the full name index of, again, of a space. 
but let's just start right after the first space and not at the first space but right after so that should find the second space and then say our last space is our full name index of another space let's use last index of that should make it easy for us like this and then our const name should be the full name substring from zero to the first space and the description should be the full name substring from the first space probably right after the first space to the last space no 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 this does not make sense this the description should be if i look at my paper again the description should the description should be from the second space to the last space so second space maybe plus one probably and to the last space and then the type should be the full name substring from the last space and to the end so this one i'm going to console log the results just to see a name and then i'm going to use my trick of an underscore here to see if there's a additional spaces where i don't want any so that was the name and the description it's actually just dish that and that will be the description i'm going to change it to dish just search so four letters like the others and it looks nicer and also add underscores around that to check for extra spaces and type would be dollar type and an underscore so this should console lock all the different animals and it does Mando, the amazing oh there's a space here before cat mia black and uh, that's also a space but besides that space it, everything looks perfect so that was the type cat plus one there we go so now we have the variables that we're going to need for each of them um and then we're going to need an object and that object should look like this it should have these properties they all should have the same four properties so i'm going to create an a prototype for that object say const animal and that should be my prototype here with name let's just write some text default name and dash uh, no description and type let's just say unknown these are just the default values and i just like to put hyphens around them so i can see that they are not normal values and age would be zero so that is my prototype object and i'm going to get rid of all this that i did here this is uh, i i don't recommend doing this hard code test here unless you're really unsure as, as to how the object should look but then just do a few three or four is enough don't do all of them so we need to create a new object with the clean data yeah so let's create a new object const animal lowercase because it's an actual object 
and we want to create it from the prototype animal. And let's just keep it as is, just ig ignore all this, and then we want to add it to the all animals. Just add it at the end here, push it. So this should give us uh, all animals should just contain prototypes or something that looks like these default names, no description. Uh, but uh, there should be one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So let's see if that happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, has created six objects, all looking exactly like the prototype. But now let's take our variables here and put into the object. So just before pushing the object, let's set name to our name variable and set the uh, dash to our dash. That's how I pronounce description when it's shortened to four characters. And then I'm going to set the animal type to the type. And I was just about to forget the age. That is, of course, set from directly from the JSON object. And it's called age. So first we create a new object. Create new object. And then we find the error or extract data from JSON object. And then we put cleaned data into newly created object. And finally, we add the object to the global array. And remember to remove to do comments when we don't have anything left to do, because now we're done. We have Mandu, the amazing cat, Mia, the black cat, Lila, the growing dog, Tubeless, the trained dragon, Scooby Doo, the wandering dog, and Horsey, the horsing horse. So, and actually, this test console log here, we can get rid of that. That's just annoying now. Uh, but it might come in handy later if we want to change something, so I will just comment it out. So this was the first step in taking our existing JSON, creating new objects defined by this prototype, extracting the data from the JSON. And in this case, it was fairly simple. We just had to find the, where it would start all of them and when I look at it now I can even see that there isn't any spaces in the description anyway so it's basically just four words where we can ignore the the and take the others so there probably would be an even simpler way of doing this but I like having it here and having it in variables because then I know what's going on and then at the end put those variables into the newly created object that was created from the prototype. And then I have an additional property that I can take directly from JSON. But since the JSON object is going to be lost, I have to store everything in my new object and finally push them to global. So now we're ready for the next part and start filtering, sorting and all that complicated stuff.